Hey everyone, it's Meg and welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed 2. Last time I actually reacted to the Lineage short film which centered on Giovanni who is Ezio's dad and we got a little bit more of a background into his character and what he does as an assassin. So I'm really glad that I watched that. That is over on the reaction channel if you're interested. I'll also link it below and probably put it in the end screen, whatever. I have a separate reaction channel for stuff like that and it's called Meg Mage Reacts. Subscribe if you're interested in stuff like that. I am so hyped to get started. Y'all blew me away with all the kind words and support and excitement on the first episode. So I'm like buzzing. I'm so excited. So with that being said, I hope you're having a good day and let's play. I also just want to say I switched to a PS4 controller, which probably should have been my first solution because I was using a PS5 controller. Um, so I think this is going to make way more sense. And the thing is, I want to look at my inventory. It told me that I could look at something. There was a letter. I swear to God, it said, I oh, database. Documents. Al magnifico Lorenzo di Medici, mio protettore e amico. I have done as requested and completed my investigation into the Milano incident. I can confirm for you that it extends far beyond the satisfaction with Duca Galeazzo Sforza's rule. It is my belief that other parties desirous of far greater gains manipulated events in such a way as to achieve their goals without being revealed themselves. Mm. Lampugnani, Olgiati, and Visconti are guilty of the crime, to be sure. And they have met fitting ends for their betrayal but several other noble families are implicated as well. Our own Francesco Di Pazzi among them. I don't remember what the guy's name Their was. Their cause and motive is not yet clear to me, but initial findings indicate a plan, the scope of which is sure to disturb you. Best we continue this conversation in person as I am hesitant to put my suspicion to paper. Reply with a place and time and I will meet you there. I have also ordered Francesco be held yeah, by the Gonfalonieri until we can clear up this matter. I think either the priest matter. or the guy that Yours was in, in that trio. Giovanni. Giovanni. Love you, Giovanni. I don't know what that means. Uh. Oh my gosh! Palazzo Auditore. Completed in 1473, the Palazzo Auditore is notable for its rusticated stonework and Roman pilasters. So is this real? It's based on Med Medici family. Giovanni designed the palazzo himself based on the initial sketches. Once, once built, the palazzo became a fixture of the Santa Maria Novella district. Lorenzo de... M oh, no, no, no. That's the Medici family. Mentioned in a letter addressed to Giovanni dated 1474 that he admired the facade's lack of ostentation. <laughs> Vespucci residence is notable for displaying the first painted facade in Florence. So I don't know what's actually real. I might wait to read all these until y'all tell me what's like legit for history. He was one of the pivotal figures in 15th century Florentine banking. Is that true? Like, is this a guy? Uh, that actually existed. He's in charge of overseeing the Medici bank branches across Italy. He kept the Medici Medici machine running while Lorenzo was busy with the, the government, sending his reach out into the international operation. It was Giovanni who first noticed the problems with the Leon bank, causing him to alert Francesco, which saved the bank. Okay. well-known Florentine beauty and a favorite of painters who used her as a model for several of his paintings. Records kept by her father's guards indicate Ezio visited her frequently and that he was unbelievably dexterous as the guards were never able to catch him trespassing. Christina! Doctors! Diagrams of the human body in the printing press influenced Renaissance medicine greatly, which had in turn been influenced by 
Arabic medicine during the Middle Ages. By the 15th century, science had already begun its slow climb toward becoming more relevant than spirituality in the field of healthcare. However, many people stubbornly clung to old ways, visiting local mystics instead of doctors. All right, but the auditores know. Hi, Federico. Aldous brother, Federico entered the bank as a clerk when he was 19. However, the bank logs indicate he mostly dicked around actually working. <laughs> What entry goes into detail? On September 17th, a bag of gold florins went missing. After panic struck the bank, the elder auditore approached Francesco with and with a smile <laughs> revealed the location of the bag, which had been hidden on the rooftop. If he weren't the son of Giovanni Auditore, I'd speak to Lorenzo and have him put in the stocks. Unsurprisingly, Frederico was removed from the bank's payroll shortly after his 20th birthday. I love my bro. Okay. <gasps> Firenze, founded by Julius Caesar in 59 BCE, Florentia, as it was called by the Romans, Florentia, quickly became a center of commerce. Okay, okay, it's so interesting because I actually have been learning a lot about Caesar recently. Under the sacking of Rome in the 5th century, the Ostro Ostrogoths took over. Under their rule, the city was constantly under attack from the Byzantines who sent the population level below 1,000. The Lombards came to power in the 6th century, ending the Byzantine assaults. Working in the wool industry, I need some wool balls for my dryer. 1378, a major revolt of the lower class led to the wool combers rising up and seizing the government of the city. Ooh, their progressive radical democracy lasted for less than two months before the upper classes seized control once more. But the revolt so terrified the rich that a century later it was still discussed in hushed tones much as the 1960s hippie movement is today ah oh, this is written really well the albizzi family became the de facto rulers after the revolt worried about the rise of the Med medici family who were now newly rich bankers rapidly gaining influence in florence mazzo and rinaldo imprisoned Cosimo de Medici and exiled him in 1433. Exiling the entire... Oh, shit. Exiling the entire Albizzi family except for Luca, who had been loyal to Cosimo. Oh, hell yeah. So, oh, so this auditory and Medici family friendship has, like, been there. Under the Medici family, which built impressive public buildings and supported such luminaries as my Michelangelo, Leonardo, and Botticelli, the Renaissance began with Florence securely at its center. Okay. And I hope that none of y'all are going to be making fun of me and stuff for not knowing something because we don't do that here. And if you do that, that or like laugh at someone in the comments who doesn't know something and learn something, then you're kicked out you're you're not allowed to type in my channel because here in this space we support learning at any ages there are a lot of school systems especially in the u.s that kind of fail kids i was someone who grew up overseas so moving around so often as a third culture kid um i would usually learn about the country that i was in so for example like i was born in thailand and i also graduated high school i moved back there and we learned a lot of Thai history. I learned a lot of Brazilian, South American history. So I have huge gaps in what I know about like the Romans, uh, Italy, the Renaissance. So if you're just gonna kick me while I'm down and I'm excited to learn things, then this is not the playthrough for you. And don't do it to anyone else either. I am just gonna explore, I don't really. Unleash Art the merchants? Of extolling the virtues of Paintings out of stock? Stock treasure maps. Uh, I'm gonna buy it. I can afford it. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Excellent, sir. A true patron of the arts. Oh, it does lead me to treasure, though. He certainly has this swagger. There! On him! Why? 
Sorry, 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 sorry. It's at, it's set to R1 and not R2. I want R2. Um, Y'all know what I mean. So I think it's... Uh, I don't think it understands what I mean. to kill them though okay what are these treasures do i climb that's uh pescato is is uh What's it called? Fish. Right? Oh. Hi. I'm sorry. I see. It looks like a treasure, but I don't. Can I please get some treasure? This one is a notorious scumbag. Don't give him anything. Don't give him anything. Thanks. What are we going to do at a bank? Um, it looks like the Templars are using the banking network to transport their money. I bet you could snag some of that cash. So that's Rebecca in current times. With the advent of double entry bookkeeping, which allowed bankers to keep track of their clients' deposits and withdrawals, and the proliferation of many different types of Italian currency into the pool of circulation, banks became an essential part of everyday Renaissance life. Banks technically couldn't make money on their money because the Catholic Church forbade the charging of interest but in practice this restriction wasn't followed by bankers or even by the vatican which participated in the banking system and required banks to pay the pope gifts in proportion to the amount of money he had deposited with them as long as it isn't called interest god wouldn't won't notice right yeah jesus definitely wouldn't flip up the marketplace if he learned that oh my god i love the sass of the database wait i see something is this what you're talking about is this the treasure is he singing i'm gonna be rich i'm gonna be rich <laughs> i should probably play the game instead of just <laughs> the first thing i did was buy a treasure map and now I'm just <laughs> looking for all the treasure. I don't care. I'm having fun. It's probably what Ezio would be doing. Who are you? Oh, fish. I was right, I think. What is threads? Can I change his clothes? Taylor? Are you kidding me? <gasps> Medium medicine pouch. I do not have enough Another money. Time. Another time, yeah. I thought I was rich, but I'm not. Chipotle. I miss hearing. That's very exciting, though. Repair? I guess I should be reading stuff God, this is so good already blacksmiths i bet these guys can sell you weapons armor daggers ammunition they even do repairs i didn't expect that in addition architectural ironwork flourished during the renaissance as blacksmiths 
began to apply their practical craft towards making art. I'm a cry. I love that so much. You can buy larger bags and they can change your outfit. Or paid well for the clothing, the rich, for clothing the rich in the latest fashions. Many were able to get close to their wealthy clients due to the intimacy of their job and create lasting ties. That's something I really wish still existed today that like tailors were more common rather than fast fashion and stuff like that. So clothes could be tailored to you. There's not this general sizing system that was probably created to, you know, supplement the diet in industry and just capitalism things. Um, I would love to have a tailor who was like my friend. Okay, it doesn't. It's oh, like, well, uh, I can't have everything in stock, I suppose. Hmm? You have nothing in stock, sir. <laughs> sir, you have nothing in stock. But okay. I don't think I'm allowed up there. I'm just going to keep going towards, you know, the place. Should probably just keep doing my thing. What's happening over there? Oh! Back from me! Okay, I'm going in, guys. Shall we dance? Okay. Oh, that's quite a crowd. I'm going to loot you guys because I really need money for um Oh that's the map! Nice! Okay. I would like to loot. Loot, yes. Thank you. No. They're not dead. Ah, the devil will surely reward your sins tenfold. You want something to do with me? I'm not even an assassin yet. Disgusting. You're disgusting. So rude. <gasps> Viewpoint. Ezio, this is our first viewpoint together. Just us, not with your brother. today. Sorry if I cry out of nowhere. Oh, no, 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 no. How do I? No V-Sync issue. So I guess maybe the treasures are hidden. Like, let's see. Nice job, Ezio. You're literally not even an assassin yet. See, like, I feel like the treasure would... Yes. Oh, I'm going to get all the treasure. I hope y'all are ready for just absolute nonsense from me and getting distracted. I will give um, the letter, though. I feel like this letter is very important. <laughs> Heralds. Oops. Beware the latest shipment of op Sorry. Uh, what did you want me to do? I want to see what the heralds are. If a herald tries to draw attention to your assassinations, I bet you can bribe him to keep quiet. 
Proclamations, local laws, news, markets, days, and advertisements were all called out by Harold since many Renaissance Italians could not read. Special laws had been put in place to protect them from the crowd due to extreme displays of unhappiness following the announcement of tax increases. Yeah. Don't shoot the messenger, but also don't talk to me about my assassinations. I refuse to answer any sort of questions at this time. A great metal work here. You're out of stock of everything. Later then, yes? You don't I'll have find anything. something by then, I'm sure. But also I'm a broke bitch, so... Ah, Ezio. Ben trovato. How are you? Come sempre. Se I have a letter for sempre. Messer Lorenzo. I'll see that he receives it when he returns. Returns? They've gone to Villa Careggi, I'm afraid. A note expected back for at least another day. I'll let my father know. I think I'm gonna have to go to Phil Villa Careggi. I've quite a few different accessories too. Things you may not know you need. Things you may not know you need. I love when they're running like that. They look like they're running. They're flying. It looks like wings, like the eagle. So I don't know if I can just drop. I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. Sorry. I technically don't have a code yet. I'm not an assassin, so I'm going to do whatever I want. If I have to kill innocents to get to the treasure, then I have to kill innocents to get to the treasure. Okay, this map was worth it. Um, this is so cute. I love that you can see the street, like the pathway. Only the best of raiment here, friends. Silks and clothes. I don't have 3,000. Hey, Dad, can I have some money? I may be a bit disorganized, but I do know my smith. So that's the doctor. How much money do I have to pay to get healed again? I don't know. Like, oh, well. can I go to bed Next and get time, I'll wait a little bit. Treasure. Is it up? That's, you're very passionate about the something fresca. Hmm. I'm not sure. I think it was I on top, but I didn't see it. Certainly yeah, I'm kind of a big deal. Oh, treasure. Keep up the good work. Thank Be you. Scared all. Penis? You worry too much, Giovanni. Did you call Francesco him a penis? Francesco Di Pazzi is in prison. The threat is ending. I think it was just telling me I could. Wait. Okay. Hey, Dad. I need more money uh, for stuff. Hello, son. You remember my friend Uber? Good morning, Gonfaloniere Alberti. To you as well, young man. Is I that trust the you traitor? delivered the message. Si, padre. But it seems Lorenzo is out of town. Hmm. I did not anticipate this. 
What does it matter? So you wait another day or two. No. Listen, your mother and sister have been looking for you. I'll need you again in a little while, but for now, see if you can't help them. That's Are you the sure? Traitor, I yes, swear. now if you will excuse us. Good to see you, Ezio. Did he give me money? Nice. Oh, quests. Marie. Ryder. I grow tired of these walls that surround me and bored with safety. Now is the time to make a decision. I will go out there and see what my life may truly be. Maria wrote those words when she was 16. <laughs> A week before she met Giovanni. Born into the powerful banking family, the Mozzi, Maria is one of the most famous historical sources of the time period due to her multi-volume diary, which has been translated by several notable scholars and is on display in the Uffizi Gallery in Florence. Guys, I think I need to go to Italy. Like, I think I need to pack my bags and go to Italy and see all this stuff. Maybe after I finish the trilogy. With funding from her parents, Maria opened up a bakery in the courtyard of her family palazzo, which she transformed into an artistic gathering place. It was there that she met a man with such conviction. I found myself rooted to the spot, unable to look anywhere else. That man was Giovanni Auditore. Maria and Giovanni were married in 1450. Maria's diary entries continue for the next few decades, describing her patronage of several up-and-coming artists and her trials as a mother, at which point she abruptly abandons her writing to the disappointment of historians everywhere. Ooh. Buongiorno, Ezio. Buongiorno a voi, madre. Come state? Sto Come bene. State? And you? Still recovering from last night? I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course not. Anyway, I have an errand to run. I'd like you to join me. Con piacere. <laughs> oh, Come, it's not far from here. He respects here. His, his mama. Yes, of course. I'm not going to decline. I know about your fight with Vieri. What fight? <laughs> per piacere. Let's not play this game. He spoke ill of us. I could not allow him to continue. I'm sure he's having a hard time dealing with the accusations against his father. Francesco di Pazzi is many things, and none of them good. But even I never suspected he'd be capable of murder. What will happen to him? I imagine there will be a trial. Will father speak at it? He'll have to. He's the one with the evidence. Still, I wish there was another way. You've nothing to fear. Everyone wants justice done. It is an unfortunate state of affairs, but it will pass. Where are we going, Mom? Here we are. <gasps> Leonardo? <gasps> Hello, Leonardo. Oh Madonna God. Maria. This is my son, Ezio. Molto honorato. L'onore è mio. Let me go and fetch the paintings. <gasps> I'll be right back. He's very talented. <laughs> Imagino. Self-expression is vital to understanding and enjoying life. You should find an outlet. I have plenty of outlets. <laughs> I meant besides vaginas. Mother. Back to your house then. Si, si. I'm obsessed with Ezio, her. help Leonardo, will you? <laughs> what the fuck? Am I really? Literally helping Leonardo da Vinci? Please. This is the best game ever. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to pick up the object. I won't let so me. Okay. You, what do you do? 
Oh, you know. He's been working for his father. Ah, you're to be a banker. For now. And you, Art, was it? That's <laughs> you. Truth be told, it's been difficult for me to settle. Painting is nice, but I often feel like my work lacks, I don't know, a purpose. Does that make sense? I'd rather contribute more practically, more directly. Architecture, perhaps, and, or anatomy. I'm not content merely to capture the world. I want to change it. Oh, Leonardo. I have no doubt you'll go on to do great things. Oh, my God. Vi ringrazio, Madonna. That's kind of you. to just think of how we change the world. Man, someone who believed in him. I'm gonna read the database really fast, sorry. Painter, inventor, designer, architect, scientist, engineer. The illegitimate son of a notary and a peasant woman, Leonardo da Vinci was raised in Tuscany. Like many destined to be superstars, he had no surname, Vinci being the town in which he was born. At age 14, he was apprenticed to a Florentine painter, Veraccio, who taught him chemistry, drafting, painting, sculpting, and modeling. When he was 20, Leonardo established his own workshop and then traveled across Italy, eventually painting his great masterpieces. The Last Supper in 1498 and the Mona Lisa in 1503 to 1507. During his travels, Leonardo studied the world with unquenchable curiosity, recording his observations in mirror writing within his notebooks. He created designs for a helicopter, tank, solar power, and a calculator, among others. He was also an engineer designing garrisons, cannons, and movable barricades. Despite this epic list of accomplishments, Leonardo was hounded by his patrons for his chronic procrastination. Pieces frequently took years longer than he anticipated, and many were never finished at all. Leonardo also had a tumultuous love life. Accused of sodomy in 1476, he was most likely homosexual. Salai, his assistant, was accused of stealing and spending too much money on clothes, but was also probably Leonardo's lover. Leonardo painted several pictures of Salai, including his famous St. John the Baptist, and left the Mona Lisa to him when he died in 1519. Tell me how I didn't know this. And I love that they included that. They didn't have to include that? That's really sweet. I know they weren't teaching me that about Leonardo in school. Wow. Oh, are you guys okay? Thank you for your help, son. Don't let me keep you from your other duties. It was nice to meet you, Ezio. I hope our paths cross again. I think they will. Anchio. An iconic mom. Okay, so I get money for these. Friend of the family. Synced. Nice. Okay, how do I even... How does the game top itself from that? They're literally just like, hey, here's Leonardo da Vinci. Student noble, the third child of Giovanni and Maria Auditore, and the first girl in the family, Claudia seems to have been a bit of a spoiled brat. It looks like her parents had to raise her dowry by 1,000 florins after she scared away all the her potential suitors. A report from her school indicates she once attacked another girl for looking at her boyfriend and knocked her out cold. On the plus side, she's Ezio's sister, so you should be safe. Oh, hell yeah. I want her on my side. Nice, Claudia. Hey, Claudia. How are you? Bene. You shouldn't keep things from me. Oh. <sighs> it's Duccio. What of him? I think he's been unfaithful. Oh, we gonna get him. This? The other girls. I thought they were my friends. Harpies. You're better off without them. Yep. I loved him. No, Claudia. You only thought you did. He should suffer for what he's done. Wait here. I'll go have a word with him. He's such a good older brother. I don't even know if he's older. I think <laughs> find and punish. <laughs> okay. It's all about justice, baby. 
Um, I would like to see where this treasure is. I don't understand. Oh, I bet it's on these like balcony Why things. Would anyone carry on like that? Yes. Okay, I understand now. Because I'm either looking on the ground or up top. Nice. I'll afford that medicine pouch in no time. to get this viewpoint because I have no idea where I'm going. There it is. I have no way of blending. treasure I heard treasure it's not Where's the <clears throat> it was sparkling so I don't understand I don't know what the contextual. Sorry. So like, why do I hear this sparkly music? Maybe I have to go inside. I think I'm being a little silly. I think I have to. Oh. case let's get the viewpoint and then deal with this okay i'm already obsessed <laughs> treasure no oh they got these things too Oh. That's the viewpoint. What did all the cut cloak? That could be our man. Raju, Berda, get him! Vergogna, stronze! How do I freaking lock on? Oh. Shame on you! Pieces of shit! Let's practice countering. Vergogna, stronze! Porca miseria! Nice. 
please don't bother me when I'm trying to do my viewpoint. Oh, I can loot them. <laughs> ah, the devil will surely reward your sins tenfold. <laughs> so true. <laughs> Very true. I hope he does. Your twisted soul will suffer eternally for this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, huh. I'm not really sure how to get up there. This is not a very. Is this even the viewpoint? Yes. Um. get something from <gasps> Duccio oh. it's beautiful oh. nothing but the best for you amore mio no way but what of Claudia I thought you'd been promised to her father said I could do much better than an auditore oh you're about to oh get it Birbante. come let us walk a bit oh walk? you're gonna get it I had something <laughs> else in mind oh mm -hmm. Duccio Hey, Lori do Porco! Ezio, my friend! Ah! Ma che te piglia! You insult my sister, parading around with his puttana. Hey, don't call her a puttana. What are you talking about? I saw the gift you gave her, or the things you said. Maybe your sister shouldn't be so stingy with her virtue. You broke her heart. Ha! And now I'm going to break your face. I'd like to see you try. You auditore is all toffee. But when it comes time for action. Ha! Sorry, I keep thinking that's how you. You'll regret ever opening your mouth. I could have taught your sister. <laughs> Basta! Mia retro. Stay away from my sister! Good times, good times. Eat a cheese. Noise. How do I get up there? I wonder if I... Oh. Oh, I have an idea, actually. I'm just focused on the freaking viewpoint. Can't I? No, 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 no. That was the wrong button. I think I might die. I did it. Let's see. If anyone messes this up for me, like a guard or something, um, I'm going to be really mad. That's not going to work. Um, damn, this is more puzzly. The viewpoints. Oh! 
That's weird. I wonder if I didn't go high enough or something. Sorry, y'all. I don't get it. I think if I go home, it is fine. Hi. Get this to its destination fast. Really fast. I'll pay you well. Okay. Really fast. Oh, shit. Yeah, see, it, it healed me. I gotta deliver these letters. I'm a paper boy. Oh. Hey, have you lost your mind? Go Sorry. Your shame. Ooh, <laughs> stop. I gotta go. I have a letter to deliver. So stop. This is on the roof. Oh gosh, whatever. I mean, I guess I could just beat them up. But that's really fun too. Oh no, really? What is this? This Let's do this. Yeah. Why does he look so black and white when he does that? I wonder. My hey, God, there's so much you. to do. Oh, it's my little bro. What are you doing out here, Petruccio? You should be in bed. I want those feathers. What for? It's a secret. If I get them for you, will you go back inside? Yes, I promise. Eagle feathers. Oh, it's timed too. I'm really glad I played one just so I could get the hang of all of this. Point. 
This one's a little simpler than the other one. <laughs> you Ezio you're fun I hope Desmond is doing okay Desmond is having the time of his life living this through this okay buddy I have your I have your eagle feathers Now, how do I get this treasure? I see. Treasure time! Half this episode is treasure. And looting bodies while they're down. Treasure. Okay. That was a good treasure. Two thousand. I am gonna start picking fights so that I can get more money. But honestly, looting them was like it was like nine florins. So I'm actually not going to. What do you think he's? Uh, I feel like I'm better off just finding all the treasures. <laughs> it's fun though. It really is. And this treasure, probably on that balcony. Inside, I wonder. No, because treasure, treasure, where are you? on one of these. Okay, I think I'm getting a little bit crazy. Let's go give our brother. Please don't. Yeah, let's go give our brother the eagle feathers. I'm getting a little bit. Sorry. Front, yes. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <Just go> <laughs> Here, as promised. Oh, Grazie, good brother. You still haven't told me why you want these. I will, in time. Are you so cute? His secret. Other locations unlocked. That is so cute. Can I explore my house? Oh no. Ezio, come in, son. 
I need these packages delivered to associates of mine in the city. I also need you to retrieve a message for me from a pigeon coop not too far from here. Va bene. I'll get it done. Come nice. back here when you're finished. There are some things we need to discuss. And please, my son, stay out of trouble. Hmm? Um, no promises, Dad. Yeah, let's accept. Tuto what? Tuto what? Okay, let's take a look at these letters. Oops. Oh, let's look at the brother. The youngest of the auditory children, Petruccio, was described as having a weak constitution. So that's why he's supposed to be in bed. Apparently, he didn't improve his time. Petruccio was pulled from school due to illness when he was 12 and, according to records from the family doctor, was confined to bed. No other data exists after that, so it is probable that he eventually succumbed to his illness. That's sad. Giovanni has sealed this letter. It would be wrong to open it. Oh. My dearest. This is from Raphael. How can I live without you? I cannot work. I can simply idle away, dreaming of your face. The fact that your father has locked you away behind cold walls sickens me. You are a budding young woman. <laughs> a dusk guy will be waiting at our special spot. I'm a little errand boy. I like it though, it's fun. This is the freaking treasure that I can't get yet. I don't understand. Is it not? Oh! Shh. Hey, what are you on about? I'm trying to get a treasure. I think it's over here. Not like any I've ever seen. Not a very good yep. Oh! this I want this freaking thing please be careful miss Ed. I'm gonna try going as far up as I can and then jumping I don't think I'm supposed to be up here It was a treasure. Megan, enough with the treasure. Okay, see, I think this is gonna work. <gasps> How do I get in? saw another treasure Ugh. 
Okay. Now we can focus on getting up for the viewpoint. from here <gasps> yes oh my god <laughs> Imagine if I didn't buy the treasure map. Like, this is taken over by life, the fucking treasure map. I don't know if it was a good thing. I hope I don't lose it all somehow. I think I couldn't get to these two. I didn't know where they were. I apologize. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. We pride ourselves. Prossima volta, no? Non troverete prezzi <gasps> migliori! Did I just... I'm not meaning to. I'm not meaning to pickpocket them, I swear. I almost can't afford the big medicine pouch. Actually, I'm gonna wait till y'all told me I should get that, because that would be really awkward if I shouldn't get that. Or, I don't know. You can tell me if I'm doing that too early. <laughs> Giovanni's kid? No, idiota. 
He just happens to look exactly like the man. Give it here. Don't worry, boy. We're not contagious. At least I'm not. Oh. Like STDs? Sorry, I don't know why my mind went there. I have 3,000. It's over 3,000. I could do this the whole game and I'd be happy. This would be like a really fun job. I've distilled an elixir of lead and pomegranate. I feel Of this Are you up on the roof? Here, over here. Hi. <laughs> Graceful. I have a delivery from Giovanni Alatore. Yes. Were you followed? No. Why would I be followed? <laughs> Give me the package. <laughs> Tell your father that they're moving tonight. He should as well. I Who's love moving? that he's a himbo right What's now. What's going on here? Wait, come back. Explain yourself. And I mean that very lovingly. Himbos are actually pretty smart. They're just like attractive because they're not plotting anything, you know? They're just genuine. He's just a genuine goober. Let's use a ladder for once. I'm confused. Oh. Oh, the pigeon coop. what that button is. I don't know what they're talking about. Let's see. Ah, uh, ha 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 ha. Oh shit. Okay. Checkpoint reached. Whoa. I see the treasure. Chest contain bunny. I figured that out now. I've really figured it out now. Hey guys, I wonder if chests have money. I wonder if there are treasure chests in this game. Um, okay, this is where we're gonna end today. I'm absolutely obsessed though. This is so fun. If I'm missing anything glaringly obvious, please let me know. If I'm moving forward in a way that I shouldn't be, let me know. Um, I will, I'm open to tips and such. <laughs> uh, this is so fun. I can't believe I hung out with Leonardo. I was gonna say DiCaprio, no. Uh, da Vinci in, in my second episode, what? I love his mom. Like, what an icon. Feel really bad for his little bro. Um, his sister's interesting. I want to get to know her a little bit more. And then the brother that we called a penis, you know, he that was iconic because Frederico, like, we had the whole opening scene race with him. So that was sweet. And then Giovanni is an icon as well. Um, that was just good vibes. I really enjoy being an errand boy. <laughs> I'm not even an assassin, but I'm just like loving running around and learning about the city and stuff. Oh, I wanted to ask about um, the database locations and if that's historically accurate and if I sh if like I should avoid the database at some points or like slow down. Just let me know. 
Um, and then if y'all say it's good to go, then I'll read more about the locations of the places that I'm in. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is just the best. I can see how people play this over and over and over and are obsessed with it because, oh my God, his mom. I love his mom so much. I think I have to make that a YouTube short of when she, um, said be interested in something other than vaginas. The best. But I hope you all enjoyed. Join the channel membership if you are interested in going above and beyond to support the channel. Um, it's $3 a month and you get access to the videos as soon as they're edited and uploaded, uh, which I'm playing a lot of games at the moment, so there might be a backlog. And that's good for that. Otherwise, thank you for watching and commenting and hanging out with me like subscribe turn notifications on let me know your thoughts and i will see you next time bye friends